This is the old sink, complete with a big glob of JB Weld that was used to cover up some holes that were eaten in by some leakage of an unknown chemical. It ate right through the sink. Back here, the countertop is fallen. Just a little bit, but enough to be nerve-wracking. We have a new sink now, and that's going in today. This is the new sink. I love it. It has a nice wide area over here that I can actually put an entire frying pan down in, and a narrow area over there with a rack for stacking dishes. We got this. It's uh, from Mr. Sink. It's a 530L. Cost $109 plus shipping, honey? Yeah, 15 bucks. Plus $15 shipping online. And Home Depot had it, but you'll pay, a, pay $150 for it. If you can wait, go online. It's a good heavy gauge, 18 gauge steel. It's a little bit wider and a little bit deeper than the old sink, so we're going to have to weed. That means my husband and the mouse in his pocket are going to have to cut into the corel here, into the counter, corian, to make it fit. The drawer dividers are not glued in, they're just in with two screws, so they can be taken out for easier access to get at the back. That back needs to be braced up so the counter doesn't sag, and he can do that while he's doing the sink. The drain connections here may have to be moved. The new sink is about an inch or two deeper than the old one. Also, because I want the large sink on the right and not the left as it's made to be, the drain holes will have to be moved because they're further forward. The way the sink is intended to be installed, the drain holes would be further back. Sink is out. Great big gaping hole. We can get at the back now too to shore it up. This is the pattern. The width is okay this way, but the depth here, as you can see, it's an inch or two short. Since the counter is corian, it can be cut with a saber saw, router. Since I'm going to have this sink, which is meant to be uh, mounted under, I'm going to have him mount it over. I don't have to worry too much, or he doesn't have to worry too much, about finishing off the edge. It's going to be covered. When we took the old sink down, we found it already had started leaking a little bit, and because it was mounted under, we hadn't noticed it. With it mounted over, it's going to give us that extra inch or two that we can jury-rig the plumbing around, and I'm going to see leaks if they happen. It's marked out for cutting now to make the sink fit. Here it is. The piece is cut out and the sink fits in perfectly. Okay, there's a temporary piece of plywood wedged up there to put the countertop where it's supposed to be. Hubby's out there outside cutting the permanent pieces right now and they won't just be screwed to the wall like the old one that came apart was. They'll be glued to the wall. There it is. Corner's nice and even. He's going to also have to do something over here. On this end, this side's loose too, which presumably means he's going to have to go through this cabinet, take the drawers out under that wall. He's cutting both pieces now, and the cabinet and the counter will all be even. And that he's... Pipes in. It's in with 3M52 marine sealant and adhesive. 5200. 5200. Water's in there holding it in place. There'll be some buckets put on there too to add extra weight. And he's just cleaning it up now. Right over there is a pipe that still has to go in the drain. Because I wanted the large section to the sink on the right, the old drawer is not going to fit on the top. Hubby put two drain areas to it instead of just having them meet in the middle like it used to. So the whole drawer shape is going to have to change, but it's going to give me a little more storage, maybe a lot more storage, on that top drawer. This is sort of how the old top drawer looked. The bottom piece didn't come off very well, so uh, it's broken. This is how the new drawer is going to look 
there's going to be a lot more storage in that drawer. Because he moved the drain and the trap so far back and separated them, he might even be able to add several inches to the middle drawer. That could expand the storage a lot. 